Okay, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to stay here uh, talking about our lovely PropTech. Uh, it's an incredible project. Uh, we started five years ago uh, with the digital transformation and digital uh, transform and culture transformation uh, for uh, in Tinsa Group. And we started uh, really operation uh, nine, nine months ago. Um, but we are creating our ideas from the last five years, so they are uh, very impressive for us and very important for my team, and I think it is, uh, they are. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's uh, repute data for us, and how can we power it by location intelligence in, in the real estate industry? It's an incredible industry. Uh, uh, so, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm the director of Tinsa Digital. Uh, I started four or five years ago in the online channel of the company, transforming the the, uh, the commercial uh, uh, matters. So um, the topics for today uh, are who we are in Tinsa Group and specifically in Tinsa Digital. Uh, what's repute data uh, for us in real estate and how is uh, or why it's so important? And uh, if it's possible to power with location intelligence, I think so. Um, and that's why what, what we are. No. So uh, first of all. Um, Tinsa Group uh, in Spain uh, delivered one valuation every two minutes. It's an amazing work for our operation team, and it means uh, more than 300,000 valuations per year only in Spain. In all the countries that we have uh, operations, we delivered more than uh, 500,000 uh, valuations. It's a lot of information and a lot of um, valid information. And what it means? Uh, our evaluators uh, don't buy, uh, does, uh, doesn't buy, doesn't sell, and doesn't um, uh, compare, or, or, sorry, um, doesn't intermediate with the, with the houses. So we think it's uh, the most neutral data because uh, they don't work with the, with the houses. So uh, in Spain, uh, we are already working from 1985 uh, in Tins Spain. We have a lot of information, and we have physical and inspect entry in the 30% uh, of the house of every uh, of, of all Spain. It's a huge of physical information. Think about we have more than 25, 27 millions of house uh, of houses in Spain, and we have entry in more than 30%, and it's more than 10 millions of houses. So, sorry. Uh, uh, which, uh, with more than 1,300 1, uh, independent evaluators in Spain. That's an incredible uh, crew to manage a lot of information and a lot of real quality information, both in three continents and science today in 14 uh, countries, because we are uh, recently announced the, the bad of a, a German company of the biggest uh, real estate data and software for valuation in Germany. And so it converts us in the biggest valuation company in, in, all the, uh, in all the world. And it's an incredible because we are uh, working in Chile, in Mexico, in Colombia, in Spain, in, uh, in the Netherlands with a lot of uh, curated information. But uh, it's wrong. <laughs> now we are the biggest repute data company in the world. We have a lot of real uh, repute data information to create different services, different products, based only on repute data. And it's critical for us because we save more than 10 million of new pieces of, pieces of repute data. And it's every day. It's a huge problem for our digital team uh, because they, want, they, they need to, to, to save a lot of information. We save all the information, but we don't use right now all this information. It's impossible. Uh, when we started the project of digitalization of Tinsa, we use more than uh, 500 uh, data, uh, piece of data for each valuation. Uh, think about it. each valuation has uh, 8,000 uh, piece of data, uh, uh, validated piece of data. Now we are using more than 2,000. So it's an incredible uh, increasing, and it allows to create uh, an incredible service. So let's uh, review how is the real data analysis in, in, in United Europe. Uh, this is a report from Pricewaterhouse. And, uh, for example, they say that the 75% of the pre-meridian uh, Europe companies uh, uh, spend the 75% of the time uh, collection data. That's an incredible time only for collection data. 
in the real estate in particular, think about we have a thousand and thousands of real estate agents uh, selling their uh, selling houses, working with Excel, with Excel files, and send all the information by email. They are now working with databases, so it's an impossible thing to say we are uh, able to use uh, real uh, data for 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 real estate agents. That's why we are using only our information, because it's impossible to, to have uh, real uh, quality data. And what happened with the emails? That you erase the emails, because the email has a limit, and the data has eliminated. And all these uh, kind of uh, real estate agents has a high technology legacy level. They are working with all PCs, on the all uh, Windows systems, and even the old uh, Excel uh, version. So it's a real problem for real estate industry to work with uh, repute data, and we are working uh, to, to solve this. Uh, for example, uh, in the um, most, of, uh, most common thing is uh, when you are talking with a real estate agent, uh, and there are different real estate agents in the same uh, town, and, they, and when you go to a um, you know, portal, and in real estate portal, you see the same house published uh, two or three or four times with the same data, and maybe with different prices. And this is a problem of duplicate data, very complicated to resolve, and that's an unverified data. Really, nobody entered to the house to validate if the if his house has an elevator or if it really has two bedrooms or three bedrooms or 80, uh, 80 uh, square meters. So it's an unverified data. And the other problem is we don't have enough public quality data. We don't have a, a, a really database for public information to provide us to make uh, these kind of services that I want to show you in the, in the next minutes. So it's really a problem uh, for real estate. And we detect in the last five years when we are tro uh, transforming uh, TINSA and think about what's, the, what's for us in the next five or 10 years. And we decide to, okay, to open the box or the, the data box of TINSA and, okay, what can we do with all this information? Because we are taking decisions with our data because we don't have it. In the past, I, I say that the real estate agents or the investment guys, uh, they are really heroes because they are taking decisions with our data. And it's incredible to say, uh, for example, I uh, manage uh, all the uh, client, the customer service in 14th Spain, and yesterday I say in another event, uh, okay, um, how, uh, how can uh, manage a team without information? For example, how many times a, a client calls to a, a, to a call center? Ten years ago, it's impossible to have this information, and they are working, we, uh, taking decisions. So data is critical to take decisions. So can, how can... Tinsa Digital uh, help to real estate industry with their repute data. And what's repute data for us? It's really objective data collected by independent experts. And it's a different uh, point uh, for the market. Uh, because objective data for us is not only the value of the home. If it's uh, evaluator says that uh, this home has an elevator. And really, they use the elevator to, to go to the home. So we have it, this information. And we have the, it's, uh, two bedrooms and one bath, and uh, they uh, measure all the stances of the house. So it's really objective data, and it's forever, this uh, kind of data. The house is very complicated to change, and if the house has an elevator, it's very improbably to, uh, to, to destroy the elevators. And we need to have enough information, enough data, to cover 100% of the national territory in each of markets, uh, in all markets that we have operation. For example, in Mexico, we are the, the leaders uh, company in the world. In Mexico, uh, both in Portuguese and uh, in the different countries where we are uh, starting. So that's important for us because we need to, uh, um, to manage a lot of uh, clients. Sorry. And it will be updated every day. Real estate market doesn't change every day, but we need to uh, have the information every day at the real time when our evaluators use a specific app for us. They are sending a lot of information. We are transforming image with uh, uh, artificial intelligence recognition to manage all the uh, tags for the photo, for example. And it's very, very, very uh, incredible information. Okay. We have four behaviors. Uh, we have an unique 
and very high precision accuracy ABM approved by the European ABM Alliance. It's an independent um, uh, organization uh, which, uh, which establishes the standards of an ABM. An ABM is an automatic value model. And it's very important because when a client says, okay, we, we want to uh, have the valuation of uh, 300,000 uh, portfolio, and I gave you uh, three days, oh, you only have, a, we, you only can uh, make uh, with an ABM. So this ABM we enrich with uh, residential insights only based on reviewed data. For example, when we are talking about the growth rental for the next 12 months, it's because we have the real and the exact contract uh, signed by the property by the owners of the house and the, and the, um, and the property. And uh, we have the information of the updated uh, of contract and we, create, we can make a really uh, gross uh, yield insight, very precision, very accuracy for our, uh, for our clients. We apply analytics and location intelligence, so of course, and we are using uh, Carto technology. We are very proud of the, of the technology because uh, for me, I'm a business guy, I'm not a technician. Uh, I can use it, and it's uh, amazing for me. And uh, we have an incredible digital touch team for develop new kind of solution or for develop new kind of insights and improve our ABM. No? So, uh, for example, how can we analyze a, uh, uh, a 30,000 assets portfolio in less than three hours? Uh, this is the 10% of the uh, all activity of teams uh, in Spain, and uh, uh, I want to show you uh, how can we do it. For example, the first thing is simplify the process. The most important thing is clean and rich data. I see really uh, in the data set sent for our clients, okay, this house is nearly the uh, red chart. All of it. That's all the information for our location. We need to locate individually each asset, and we have a lot of uh, evaluators in the across the country to uh, enrich this kind of data. And this is data forever. The house doesn't move uh, uh, normally. <laughs> Uh, we applied our precision ABM. It's very important because we, ha we can uh, make more than 15,000 ABMs per hour, and it's very quick and it's very uh, accuracy. And we improve this information with our real estate insights. Now we have more than 75. We are increasing uh, that portfolio of insights, and we put in the analysis algo location intelligence tool. And what means uh, data enrichment for us? It's, uh, we need to enrich with new data, and it's a new data forever. It's, uh, um, it's not the value of the home, that's uh, not enriched data for us. We can only use repute data. And really, we are applying, uh, applying local knowledge. It's very important for us because uh, the local valuator that we have in the TINSA network, uh, they have a high uh, knowledge of their local areas. It's very important to check all the information with them. Uh, for example, that's a uh, that's builder, and uh, that's uh, we are creating for the rich area uh, this uh, tool. We have visited more than 10 millions of houses, and they has a lot of building characteristics such as uh, elevator or, or common zones. So, when a client says uh, send us a cadastral reference. We can improve with a lot of information. Why? Because cadastral information is very, very simple. It's only the surface, and we need to believe that kind of surface, the typology, and the location. And maybe it's not uh, always a good information. We enrich with all this data set. If the building has elevator, green and sports zones, a state of conservation, think about if we are by value, if, if we are making an evaluation of uh, one uh, house in the in one building. All the houses have the same common characteristics, like elevator, or the reform of the building, or the energy efficiency, or quality of construction, and we can improve with uh, the estimated uh, rooms and baths for each typology. It's very important because I think that, uh, even you are not evaluators, you think that a house in the fourth uh, floor with or without elevator has a different price. It's very simple. Uh, it's, uh, it's important to an IBM, and it's important to our uh, physical inspect. We can improve and we can make more accuracy for this kind of uh, asset portfolio for valuations. The next thing is enrich the zone and determine uh, what is the best uh, zone. Uh, think about um, the most common thing is have administrative zones. 
There are zones made by different purposes for, for real estate. Our census district made for both our proposals that is not valid for uh, taking real estate decisions. So we are creating uh, our, our uh, zones. It's named Tinsa Zones, not very original, but uh, it uh, demonstrating that this point is near the uh, um, Vicente Calderon Stadium. It has a lot of critical different zones. So when a customer wants to buy a home, they know, say, they know use a 50-meter radius. They are looking for a similar house in a similar zone with similar characteristics. We are creating new polygons in all Spain to, the, to analyze real what happened in this area, in this zone. And we are using to make uh, an ABM. We are only taking comparables that are real evaluation data for only this kind of zones. Detail. There are uh, detached houses inside a lot of uh, flat houses. So it's a different zone, not only for the typology, it's only for it's, uh, even for the clients. So it, it, uh, we, with this kind of an zone analysis, we have even more accuracy. It's very important because we only have three hours to make all this, uh, all this uh, work. Real insights. We uh, enrich all the data set with uh, insights because it's important to know the zone that uh, we, uh, that we are, uh, have the, the asset. We uh, deliver uh, the gross rental yield, a forecast for the next one month. Think about we have information from more than th uh, 30 years of real estate activity. We are passing through uh, two crises, two real estate crises, and we have a lot of information. Uh, our forecast model is very, very uh, uh, good, and we are um, proof in the um, pre-crisis uh, uh, year, and it works very, very good. <laughs> and we are developing right now a real estate scoring, taking a lot of parameters to uh, take uh, to um, allow our clients to take decisions with only two or three insights, because it's very quickly uh, only use three or four clicks. To, to segment a uh, uh, portfolio. The income level, and I'm very proud of this um, insight because we are uh, working with a lot of geomarketing uh, agency. Uh, think about if you are a car brand uh, and you want to, to send the, uh, the advertising only to your target. For example, in Pozuelo, the Pozuelo is the, the most uh, uh, important uh, city or municipality for income uh, level. But it's only the municipality. They have two different zones, like Somosagua, La Finca, some expensive zones, and Pozuelo uh, Estación. And we are creating an incomplete uh, for each Tinsa zone. So our geomarketing uh, or our clients can send real BMW uh, advertising for La Finca and Renault or Hyundai advertising for other zones. So they, they can segment it very, very uh, well. Uh, their uh, publicity advertisement. We, are, uh, we, we have a liquidity and value for a quick sell. Uh, that's very important to take decisions. And the most usual home in the zone, uh, for example, is the most usual home is, has an 80 meters and your home is, uh, has uh, 100 or 200 meters, there is a different kind of home. Because maybe you need to, uh, to take more time to, to sell the house. And our social and social demographic insights very important to know how uh, why, which kind of people lives here. Uh, we are using, for example, uh, how many people lives um, near and um, ten minutes walking by walking or by train to create real analysis for uh, for retail uh, storage. Very important to uh, analyze how many people can buy in that um, in that uh, red, uh, store, and if a restore it's over zone with another store. So it has more information, we have more accuracy and more information to develop to our clients. For example, uh, we have, uh, in the last 10 years, we are making more than uh, 50 million of ABMs. We have more than 80% of accuracy. We, we uh, uh, apply each month a bulk test, uh, testing our system and improve each month uh, uh, new zones and new algorithms uh, to, to, to be better. Um, we have, as I said before, more than 15,000 IBMs per hour. 
the 75 residents and sites, and we now are using three different, uh, three different algorithms, including uh, machine learning, to create a different kind of, of valuation. We are exploring this kind of technology because it's very impressive for us. So an ABM is important for us because it does not have much wins. Uh, if a evaluator uh, uh, has hungry, uh, it's, uh, it's not our problem. And it not, does not get tired. They can value you at uh, 4 a.m. It's uh, not a problem for us. And does not get, get angry. It's very important because it's very objective and ABM. Uh, for example, um, the result is uh, to say goodbye to the Excel files for our clients. We only want to use a uh, location intelligence tool because it's very easy because our clients, most of, the, or, of our final clients, are business guys, business people who, want, uh, who doesn't want to, to, to use Excel files or to develop a tool. So we have an area for big data, collect, clean, normalize, um, make the validation of the information. With three clicks in the background, you can segment the, um, the, um, the portfolio only with the forecast and the gross year, uh, rental yield uh, inside. The smart data team, uh, who are part of the data science, geo analysis, with our insights, enrichment, and we apply our ABM. It's the most uh, important area for, for us. And then we are using Carto technology because I think. Uh, is the, the easy for our clients and the easy for me, really, uh, because I, I can make this kind of uh, dashboard in a few minutes. And that's a real job. Uh, when a client says, OK, uh, I, I want to you, oh, we want to Tinsa Digital, uh, make a valuation for our portfolio, uh, we ask a question. Is it a garbage data set? And the most common answer is yes. And we need to enrich all the data sets for the clients to possibly make this kind of analysis. And in the last seven minutes, more or less, <laughs> I want to, to think out of the box. Uh, it's, an, it's a project for the last year. And uh, think about a real estate market. Uh, how many times uh, I buy a home a, a normal guy? Really? I? One, maybe, or two, if you are very lucky, and three, if you are very, very lucky, you know? Uh, that's a, a very quick touch point with Tinsa. One, it's 10 or 15 years. Think about our client. Our client doesn't need our services uh, for a gap of, tw of uh, 10 years. It's very complicated to relation with our clients because we don't have all the information, and we don't have the touch points like a retail store that is a very uh, traditional to buy clothes uh, one per month or one per two months, no? So when the valuation uh, award is very, very complicated to uh, fidelity clients. So we have one challenge uh, in Tinsa. Uh, can we truly improve the Tinsa score service? It's a traditional mortgage valuation uh, with a simple, simple ABM. And that's a challenge uh, for us for the last year. And we started to think uh, how we can do and we develop my, my casa. It's an incredible application for all our clients to touch the company, to touch the value of their homes. Uh, and we are um, uh, having a lot of uh, incredible impact for our clients because they are saying, wow. And what's wow? Uh, think about all of valuations uh, companies uh, approved by Bank of Spain. We are making the same report more quickly or more uh, slowly, or with more uh, currency, with a different value, but it's more it's the same. So with uh, Mikasa, we apply an ABM for each uh, quarter uh, for all house of our clients. We pass from 10 years to touch point to every month. And it's impressive because we are in the top of the mind of our clients. It's very important for us because we, we are uh, looking for a recommendation. And they are recommended in some. They, we have a, our churn rate they, they reduce on 49 percent, more or less, 50 percent. And it's an incredible news because um, uh, we are in fidelity clients. They want to 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 have the best value, not the best, not, not only the best service. It's based on an ABM, and it's for all clients. And the 
highest consume of the application is Friday at 10, 11 p.m. Why? Because we are uh, gamification, uh, we are gamifying the, the, the value of the price, okay? A uh, friend to another friend, in my house is requesting a 4% and yours only the 2%, so my house is better, no? So we have uh, Friday and the night, and the, it's uh, the high consumer. As you can see, we have the estimated value of a home, the uh, variation from the uh, value uh, data, and the uh, last 12 months variation. So our clients can make a lot of decisions with this kind of, or this kind of information regarding only uh, repute data, and they can see the zone, what's the uh, value of the home, of the zone, and from their house, and the evolution from maxims to minims. Okay, they can see if it's a good moment to sell or a bad moment um, uh, to sell. We have more than uh, 100,000 clients now with this uh, service uh, activated, and it's awesome uh, for us. It's the, our first developed for Tinsa Digital, when Tinsa Digital doesn't exist, but the idea, uh, we have the idea. Um, whoa. Okay. So, uh, some uh, summarizing points to finalize uh, uh, this moment. Um, re working with repute data it makes difference. Um, it's very complicated work with data. It's very, very expensive work with data. And it's very complicated to monetize the work with data. Now it's very complicated, but when our team works with the repute data, it makes a difference. Because we don't need to fight with the data and eliminate duplicates or uh, uh, analyze the bad information, no? Uh, but the most thing is that it's clean and rich uh, the, data set for, the data set for our clients. It's a crucial job. It's, uh, we, have, we spend the most time of our job clean, uh, um, cleaning data. But it's crucial because with uh, garbage data, we can apply an accuracy ABM or accuracy inside. So our clients probably make bad decisions because the uh, original data was uh, very, very uh, dirty. And now location intelligence is a reality. When we are uh, um, sent our clients a link with a pre-solution of location intelligence, uh, they said, wow, this is very different from an Excel. I can use, in, I can manage in three or four clicks a lot of information. I can segmentate the, my uh, portfolio uh, very, very quickly and very fast, and it, ha it, and it makes sense. And real information is power. Uh, I know now, <laughs> but really it's power. And repute data is forever. When we enrich a, da a data set and we have this uh, house has elevator, it's forever. It's never changed. And finally, I have two minutes. Um, we can, you can enter in the website of tinsadigital.com because we are, uh, try, we are starting a pre-reservation of a new app we are developing for free for our clients to democratize, to democratize real uh, repute data. It's a huge project, and it will be released in the next month. And it um, allows to all clients to work with real data and uh, take real decisions for the most important invest of their lives, that is uh, their home. So thank you very much. Uh,